granny squares. Granny squares give you the most. In today's vlog, I am walking you through every single pattern that I am dropping this Thursday. I have seven patterns to walk through with you to give you all the details, let you know the prices, let you know where you can get them and at what time and all of that good stuff. So grab yourself a project, bonus points if it is a granny square project and let's jump in. Hey team, what's good, what's happening? Welcome back to HGDC. I'm Heather, I'm a stay at home mama, I'm a crochet designer and I have a thing for granny squares. Pattern number one is from my I Heart Granny Square collection that I released as a collection August 2023, so a year ago now. It's the first collection I ever, ever released. And as I said, I didn't release the patterns individually and that's what I'm doing. Just show you. Pattern number one, let's do the, shall we? Okay. Pattern number one. Pattern number one is my iconic bag. Oh, I love this pattern so, so much. And I know, I know how long you've been waiting for it and I can't wait to show it, show it, to get it to you. Okay, let's do a bag tour. Front, side, back, side, bottom. And then we have inside. Oh, inside. And it has a crochet handle. This pattern calls for double knit acrylic. All of the patterns I'm showing you today use double knit acrylic. It is reinforced with a canvas mesh. Let me get some to show you because I always get asked this question. Hey. This is an off cut of the canvas mesh. It comes in these big sheets and then you have the measurements within the pattern and you cut out the panels. And then this is what helps the bag to keep its shape. And I will link this below. You can get it from Amazon and Hobbycraft and a load of other places if you are interested in having a look. <laughs> it's so hot already and I'm three minutes in. I am in the United Kingdom and we currently have a heat wave today. I've turned the fan off to record this and it is already very, very warm. <laughs> Wherever you are, I hope that you have a nice cold drink and some crochet to keep you company. There is no sewing involved because it is entirely crochet. I then crochet around the panels, graft the granny squares on and there's your bag. This one has a magnetic clasp. On this version of Iconic, I went with the silver hardware and then the strap is also crocheted. And I mean, just look at it. It's Iconic. I am so, so impressed with this. I think this is the best thing I've ever made. And yeah, I know I say that every time I make something, but this is like, up there in terms of my top five patterns. I also made this in a different colorway. I made it in my signature scrap with the sparkle black to pull it all together. And on this one, I used the gunmetal black hardware and it's got the matching clasp. And this one is my most used. It just goes with everything, it, it just... So as you can tell, it's getting a little bit fluffy from use now, but I still love it. So this is pattern number one that will be available on Granny Square Day. And this pattern will be listed for eight pounds, eight UK pounds and I will try and convert all of that for you on the screen. Pattern one. Iconic is one of five patterns that was part of my I Heart Granny Square collection that I released last year. I can't believe it's been a whole year. Wowee. 
I released that in August 2023. First ever collection that I ever put together. And at the time I made the decision to put all of those patterns in a collection rather than individually. Mainly for admin reasons, I'm not gonna lie. There are two more patterns in the I Heart Granny Square collection that still needs to be released as an individual pattern. Pattern number two is my Amore Cushion. I love this. It's been in storage for a little while and I got it out and like, let me just show you. Look at that for a lineup on my cushion, on my cushion, on my sofa. Love it. Loving the crochet cushions. It is just a bit of me. It really is. Especially when they're granny square. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. The Amore cushion is the granny square cushion with heart. How cute is that? It is made using double knit acrylic, of course, and I used scraps to make the centers. And then I joined the cushion using Join As You Go. I will link the tutorials to Join As You Go, Continuous Join As You Go, and my tutorial playlist below so that you can go and learn all of my methods. And also I have my Granny Square guide and you can also either purchase that or download it for free. And that has all of my how-to tips and tricks and all of that good stuff. So I did Join As You Go using the pink to put this together. And then the heart is actually made using join as you go as well. And there's step-by-step -step photo tutorial within the pattern. I did the heart in a contrasting color that isn't anywhere else in the um, cushion. And can you see like how well it matches Iconic? Now for this one, I used the scraps to join it together. Can you see? And this is what I call like my signature border within my blanket. And I used a part of my signature border to join these two panels together. And it just gives, it just gives vibes, look at it. And then for the bottom, I decided to go with a button closure. Now before I show you this little bit, just gonna say that it's supposed to have two more buttons added on and I've never added them on and I'm probably never gonna do it. But the pattern tells you to put five on and I made five buttonholes, okay, okay. So there would be five buttons and I went with these heart ones. There should be another two there and I just never got around to doing it. And I didn't do it for the photo shoot so now I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll do it tonight it's when I'm, <laughs> when I'm uh, editing this vlog. Oh my gosh, can't tell you how much I love this. Look at it. Also matchy matchy vibes. And I'm thinking I need a picture ledge in my bedroom so that I can have all of my bags on show. What do you think? It's the best idea ever, obviously. <sighs> love it. So proud of this work. Amore is the second pattern that will be available. And that pattern is only going to cost you four Great British Pounds to purchase. And then you can make as many different colourways as you want. Aldi, what do you need? Go and lie down on your mat. Put Aldi over in the corner because I didn't want the pink in the shot and now he's come over asked to come back up and now he's turned around he's got the hoof. Pattern three that I will be releasing as an individual pattern for this pattern drop is my victory skirt. Now I have packed victory away because it's part of my winter wardrobe and didn't have the foresight to go and get it out of the attic before we started recording. However I've got loads and loads of footage to share with you. Let me talk you through the construction and how you go about making it because I'm pretty impressed with this one if I say so myself. It is entirely granny squares and then it has a zip closure to help with that pencil shape, pencil skirt shape, you know what I mean? Um, and 
It of course is double knit crochet. Double knit crochet. It is of course double knit acrylic yarn. You can make it in whatever blend you like. In the victory pattern, I put the granny squares together in bands. And you have a band, there's eight, nine, ten, depending on what length you want. And each one has a different amount of granny squares. You join each band using the continuous join as you go. And then you add the next band on using continuous join as you go. And I have included very, very in-depth details within the pattern of how to decrease and increase within the bands. So say, for example, your waist, you have eight granny squares, but your hips, you need 10. I have given details of how to add eight granny squares onto 10 and it not like, it looks flawless. You cannot tell that, that you just, you can't tell, you can't tell babes. So all of that is in the pattern. One thing I will say is it's not lined. You do not want to walk around with it with absolutely nothing underneath because you can see, I've tried it out. You can see you need to be wearing like cycle shorts or a, um, you need some sort of modesty shorts, some sort of cycle shorts, some sort of bodysuit, something. And you can also make the matching jumper, which is my revival jumper, which I have already released as an individual pattern. And then you can make iconic and basically your entire outfit can be matching. Granny squares, granny squares give you the most. As I mentioned, my I Heart Granny Square collection had five items in it. It had a blanket that also matches this. And then the bag, the skirt, the jumper and the cushion. And I've released them all together. You can still get that as a collection if you want to. And it does mean that in terms of the price, you get quite a decent discount compared to buying them all individually. I was experimenting when I released that collection and decided to just put it out there as a collection, partly because of admin, because not only did I need to create the collection, but then I needed to upload each one individually. And I was working against the clock and that's one of the decisions I made to try and streamline it and make it more manageable for me. Oh, wow, look at that matchy matchy going on. Part of it as well was that I maybe had a little bit too much ego and I was like, why wouldn't you want all five of the patterns? They are amazing, like, why wouldn't you? I've since come to realize the error in that thinking. Since releasing that, I have had people specifically ask me for the bag pattern and they didn't want the collection because they're not gonna wear a skirt or they're not gonna wear a jumper or whatever, whatever. And that is their decision to make. It's not for me to be like, you must have all five. Obviously I want you to have all five because they're amazing and I put so much time and work in, but that's why I want to release the individual patterns. And having learned what I learned in the last year, and oh my goodness, did I learn a lot, putting like designing, making, having a photo shoot and launching an entire collection. I learned so, so much. One of the things that I have learned is that if I don't in release the individual patterns there and then, that something's gonna come along and derail my plans to do the pattern drop. I had intended to release all of these patterns quite some time ago. And as you know, I took a break from HDDC and it just didn't get done. With hindsight, I should have tried to hold on and just release all these patterns and have a little bit of a, I'm taking a break sale. But honestly, I just, I didn't have the bandwidth for that. So we are, we are where we are. And having said that, I have made a decision that for my new collection, which I'm also dropping, you'll be seeing it like, most likely once you see this, it'll be on the website or it'll be dropping very, very soon. Um, I'm going to be releasing my mini home collection as a collection, but also as the individual patterns. So you can get whichever pattern you want and just, just make them, make them all and love them. That moves us into the home mini collection. There are three items and you can see, yeah, you can see all three of them. First of all, I have the key ring. Look at it, it's so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It is currently on one of our keys for our home. And I will tell you now, this is the keeper of keys. 
since we have put it on here, there has not been any worries or any, you know when you have that, where did I put the key? So easy to find and for that reason alone, I will be making more of them without a doubt. And I'm probably going to like do some sort of color coordination so I know which door they are for at a glance. So this is a granny square key ring. I made all of the centers out of scraps and then I use continuous join as you go to join this all in one 3D shape and then added in the chain to put the key on there. And I've used rose gold hardware on this one as well. You can put the key on there, but I've actually just clipped it onto the key using that. So I'm not sure if I might add like a tassel or something on there. So this is Keeper, the Keeper of Keys, and that is the first pattern of the Granny Square collection that will be available. This one will only be four pounds. Pattern number two of the home mini collection is Artiste. <laughs> Love it. This is my Granny Square art. It is mounted onto a canvas board. What I like about it is when it's on a picture ledge or it's up on top of a Kallax unit or something like that, that when it catches your eye, it's just a little bit of colour. And I like that I'm able to swap it out to match the date, like the decor the decor within our home and different rooms that I put it in. And it's just nice to see just a little pop of granny squares around our home. I am tempted to make one to match one of these cushions, like join it all in black or join it all in pink. Make it very, very matchy in here. So that is my granny square art. It has full step-by-step -step pictorial. So it has the step-by-step -step pictures as well as written instructions on how to make it, how to mount it and all of that stuff as well as where to get the supplies. And again, that pattern is only four pounds, which takes us into the final pattern of the home mini collection. The next one is this and it is called Stunned and it is my granny square mirror. Last time it took me ages to figure out how to reveal this and not show you everything behind the camera that I don't want you to see. Three, two, one. Oh, I've learnt. <laughs> not too bad. Okay, so this is my granny square mirror. It's an Ikea mirror that I have completely covered in granny squares. Two round granny squares because that has been my thing and it's just beautiful. Let me put it on here. You can see yourself in it. You can see the tripod and that's okay. It's just honestly gorgeous. It lives up here on our picture ledge and I'm forever moving things around in here, but you either find it up there or it's over on our TV stand. And I just love it. I love the way the light reflects off it. I love that I can just do a quick check before I step out of the of our home and it's just cute it's so so cute i'm so proud of the whole collection of both the iheart granny square collection and my home mini collection anyone that's watched this vlog these vlogs will know that the home mini collection was literally designed born out of me acknowledging and taking a break from hddc I cancelled my previous collection that I had planned because I knew that it was going to be too much in terms of the resources it needed, the time it needed. And it really was a huge moment for me to say, look, I need to take a break from HDDC. I need to recalibrate. I need to reprioritize. And that's what I did. And then I was like, okay, the main thing for this year is to focus on our home. And all I, that I want to do is to snuggle my baby and crochet my heart out whilst focusing on our home. So that's what I did. All of these projects are small enough that you can just have a bag of scraps, and you can just have a little bit of yarn and you can take it with you. So you can take a tiny little project bag with you and when your children are running around on the park or wherever it may be, when you're catching up with another mum, you can just be working on this. And that's exactly what I did. And with this one, I have pictures and footage of Teddy helping me, my son helping me put it together because 
everything I wanted to work on, I wanted to be able to do around him. And all of these little projects mean so, so much because of that reason. And I'm not gonna lie, it's so, so nice when you just look around the room and obviously pre-marriage, when I had my own home and I lived on my own, I could decorate it in any way I wanted. And I had like a granny square curtain, I had yarn everywhere. And now this space truly is our home and it reflects all three of us. It's got Teddy's play area, it's got Brad's hobbies and interests, and then it's got mine. Mine are definitely growing. <laughs> and it's so nice to see little splashes of me on the sofa and on the walls. And oh, I just love it. And I truly, truly hope that you love it as much as I do. Okay, a couple more things to mention about the mirror. The mirror's price is £8. And if you want to buy all three, you can get them as a collection. And so the cost should be £16 in total. But it's only £12.50 if you buy all three. And, 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 hold tight because there is a YouTube exclusive discount that I'm going to be sharing with you. So that means that you'll also get a further 15% off if you have discovered or shop via YouTube. You have now seen all the patterns that I'm dropping from my iHeart Granny Square collection. I'm leaving that there, it looks so nice. You have seen all of the patterns that I'm dropping from my home mini collection. And I have one more item to share with you that I will be including as part of this pattern drop. The final item, the final pattern that I am so pleased to share with you is my bag subscription. Ah! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of this bag. Okay. Details on the bag first, and then we'll go into details of the subscription. This is my Allure bag pattern. It is, of course, made of mini granny squares, because why not? I was in a mini mood. And it is a mini tote. So many minis going on. It has these handles to hold. Let me give you a bag tour. You have front, side, back side, bottom, and the inside. Can you see in there? I did add a magnetic closure. It just doesn't look right. So I've actually said in the pattern that I would omit including that if I was to make a second one. But at that point, I didn't want to take it apart just to remove it, so I've left it. And it's up to you if you want to include one. This is the perfect size to put a project in when you're on the go. Perfect size. And it's so cute. I, of course, used double knit acrylic yarn and I used a lot of scraps and random bits from my stash so that most of the colors aren't repeated. There's a, there are repeats, but you wouldn't be able to tell. And then I decided to use a contrast to put it all together. And then I did contrast handles as well in this really hot neon pink. And then the inside, I used two different colors. It was more necessity than design choice because I underestimated how much yarn I would need. So I've got a lilac on that panel and then the bottom and the two sides is in this like parchment beige color. Oh. And that is the Allure bag pattern. I know how much you all love a granny square bag and I absolutely enjoy, enjoy creating these to the point that I've had so many different ideas for bag patterns that I decided to jump in, follow it and to set up a subscription. So I am going to be opening the doors to early sign-ups for the founding members of, drumroll, the subscription squad. 
the crochet bag collection. There are six patterns. I think I previously told you five, but there are six bag patterns. A mix of granny square and non-granny square, and it's gonna be available on my website. So let me tell you a little bit of the details of how it works. On the 1st of September, a PDF digital pattern will be sent out to you for a law. And then you have 60 days to work on your bag. On the 1st of October, the weekend nearest to that, we will all have a video call together where we can all chat. We'll be able to show off what we're working on. We'll all be able to, if you've got ends to weave in, work on them. If you want to start a second one, then you can start a second one. It's just a way to sit and chat and talk about crochet. I don't know about you, but for me, making friends as an adult is a little bit more difficult now because toddler life, because self-employed life and all of those things. And I don't really know anybody in real life that loves crochet the way I do. So I cannot wait for you all to be on that chat so that I can talk to you all, find out what yarn you've been using, what colors you've been using so that you can show me what you've been working on. And so I can just hear you all chat about crochet. And the cost of the subscription is 10 pound and that will come out every 60 days. So September, November, January, March, May, and July, and there'll be six of them. And then those six patterns will not be available as individual patterns until Granny Square Day 2025, because I am working smarter, not harder. So this, these six patterns, the subscription squad, the bag collection is literally next year's collection. And then I'll be releasing those as a collection and individual patterns September, uh, August, in August 2025. Obviously, if you have signed up and had all six, then you will just get a copy of the collection, like the PDF where they're all together a standard. And then I'm gonna figure out some sort of sliding scale. So if you signed up for like three out of the six or whatever, then I'm gonna send some sort of discount code so you're not paying twice. I already got ahead of myself and I've already showed one of the other bags I've designed for this collection. So let me just grab it and show you it now. I designed this beauty and I'm really proud of this one as well. It's got the granny square panels on the sides. They are actually identical, which I don't normally do, but they are identical. And then it's got one continuous piece that creates the side and bottom. And then it's got a zip, which I am yet to tack into place. It's actually held in with pins at the moment, whilst I make some slight changes to my sample. And then it has a zip to open. And at the moment, it's got uh, some of the yarn in it so that when I pick up this pattern, I am free to just continue with it rather than having to look for the yarn. I went with the gold hardware, chunky gold hardware for this one, which I love it. And then I have crocheted the handle as well. Oh, wow, like with this outfit, it looks so cute. So that will be one of the patterns that is available within this collection. Although I've designed it as bag two, I'm not promising that it will come out as the second bag because I would like to do um, this one, which is a granny square pattern, and then another bag which isn't granny square, and then a granny square bag and alternate in that way if possible. So this is part of the collection, but I'm not going to let you know which order it's going to be released in just yet. All of these patterns, the I Heart Granny Square collection and the individual patterns, the home mini collection and as a collection and the individual patterns and the bag subscription are all going to be available on my website which I will link below, I'll put it everywhere for you. And then 
My plan is on the Thursday, the day of the drop, Teddy's going to be with his dada and I am going to launch the website at 10 a.m. so you can all purchase and then I'm going to do my YouTube live, maybe an Instagram live and then I'm going to have nap time with Teddy. Like This is my ideal day. Then after nap time, we're going to have a little bit of family time. So go for a nice walk in the fields, spend some time together. And then in the evening, we're going to have a little bit of a celebration. I did plan a really big full on celebration. Like I want it to be pink and amazing. And we're actually going to do that at the weekend, just so there's not loads for me to prep and do on the Thursday. So I'm going to be having like recording our pink celebration and I want to make one of those um, grazing boards covered in pink food and we're going to have that on the Saturday. So you can get any of these patterns, all of these patterns on my website then after Thursday I will then start to focus on getting them uploaded onto Ravelry, Etsy, Lovecrafts and anywhere else that I put my patterns and I will do that bit by bit as and when I get a little bit of admin time. Discount codes. I really, really, really want to be able to say the biggest, hugest, most warmest thank you for all the support that you have given me here on YouTube. The comments, the absolutely amazing comments that you leave and all of the support for every single view, like, comment, for all of you that are subscribed. I just want to be able to say thank you so, so much. So please use the code YouTube15 and that will get 15% off on any of these patterns. And I just want to say thank you so, so much. I can't put it into words how grateful and how thankful I am and just how much I truly love spending time here with you all. And I can't wait to meet you all and chat with you all when we have our sub squad calls. Anything else I need to share? I think I went through everything with you now. I've showed you the patterns that we're that I'm gonna be dropping. I've shared the prices with you. I've shared where you can get it. I've shared the discount code. I think that is everything. I want to just say a huge, huge thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much for being here for everything you do. This is the comment of the week. Again, thank you so, so much for taking that time to comment and just chatting with me. I honestly really do appreciate it. Every Wednesday when my um, videos go out, I always go and make sure I've replied to all the comments. And, it's, and then I see all the comments coming in on the new video and it's one of like my favorite tasks. It was one of my favorite things I get to do within HGDC that isn't specifically crochet related so thank you so so much for joining me and i can't wait to see what patterns you snap up and what projects you start whatever you get whatever you purchase please 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 tag me on instagram and comment below what you purchase and what you're going to be starting on and then tag me on instagram or facebook or wherever you can and please share the colors that you're choosing because it's one of like it's the best bit when it comes to the patterns show me the yarn people show me the yarn i think that's everything thank you so so much and i'll see you in the next one take care Whew. i washed my hair just before this and the humidity has shrunk it so much like i have long hair honest it just yeah let me show you the crow shay crow shay crow 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 shay Okay, I feel like this is just descending into nonsense. Happy Granny Square Day!